Hi, I'm Suzanne, and this is Supercharge Your Health. And Beth Annie Stockdale. Welcome, everyone. Let's start out by giving people our contact information because I think we haven't done that very well in the last <laughs> video. Go ahead. So we are here at our location, our Discount Med Direct location in Cape Coral. We're at 229 Del Prado Boulevard North, Unit 9 in Cape Coral, Florida. Um, our phone number here is 239-677-3559. Uh, this is where we do discount medications. We have our Biomat. We have a PEMF mat, and we sell CBD products. Great, and I think we talked about the Biomat last um, session. If you haven't listened to that uh, podcast or watched that YouTube video, go back and watch it. It was amazing. Uh, my name is Beth Annie Stockdale. I'm the owner of Your Total Body Wellness Center up in Venice at 800 East Venice Avenue, Suite C in Venice, Florida, 34285. I am a certified uh, personal trainer, brain health coach, and I'm also certified in cannabis. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about today is CBD. CBD, um, it's all the rage. That's all the rage. And uh, as you know, part of the podcast in Supercharger Health and the YouTube videos, we are following Suzanne and her weight loss journey. Uh, actually, it's a more of a wellness journey. Can yes, you, more of a wellness journey. Why don't you tell folks what your goals were? My goals uh, just are basically to feel better. Uh, I had a very stressful period of my life, uh, just basically depleted myself completely, physically, emotionally. I was taking care of my dad, uh, had a lot of changes in my life. It was just a two-year period of craziness. Uh, so coming out of that, I was just physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausted and, and was trying to find ways to feel better. I have gotten myself to a little bit better of a level, but still not where I would like to be or where I think I should be. So my, obviously weight loss, I can stand to lose a few pounds, that's not going to hurt. But my main goal was to just feel better, just to have more energy. And so when I have a busy week, uh, like what I have coming up, that I, at the end of it, I'm not just completely exhausted and have to spend my free time sleeping. So that's my, that's my main goal. All right, so she's taking a very proactive step at increasing her energy and increasing her wellness. And part of that, uh, she was using CBD, uh, the cannabinoids before, but we're gonna make that a bigger uh, part of your wellness program. But so that, so everybody has a little bit of background, let me explain. Your body has what is called an endocannabinoid system within it. It's within your central nervous system. And what this part of your central nervous system is responsible for is keeping your body at homeostasis. It's responsible for keeping your inflammation down, which therefore keeps your pain down and stabilizes your mood. And what that means is for people that are a little anxious, it can calm you down without making you dopey. And those people that are a little depressed, it will bring you up without making you anxious because it wants to get your body to that homeostasis point. And where this becomes a big part, uh, especially with, with you all that uh, want to lose weight is if you are a little stressed out, you are creating this stress hormone, it's called cortisol. Cortisol does all kinds of nasty things in your body, increasing, decreases the blood flow to your brain, so you're making worse decisions. Um, and it, it, it actually starts creating glucose, so you could be eating everything you're supposed to eat, doing all the exercises you're supposed to be doing, but if you're stressed out, your body's gonna start creating its own glucose and you're gonna start fighting yourself. So it's very important to get the cortisol levels down, and that's one thing that CBD can do. Now the difference between, you're probably saying, well, what's a cannabinoid versus THC? They're both cannabinoids. They're both cannabinoids. However, um, when you think of a CBD product that's out there in the marketplace now, and Suzanne, we're gonna talk about a little bit more about that because she has more of the products here um, at her storefront, is in the state of Florida, you can have up to 0.03% THC and still be considered CBD products. Anything over that is considered a medical marijuana product that you need a, a medical marijuana card for. And that actually is a federal regulation or a federal determination too. Right. Um, from the Florida, uh, Florida Farm Bill Act of 2018, they determined hemp products, which is commonly what we think of as CBD products. Correct as 0.3% or less, and then anything over that federally is still considered illegal. So anything over 0.3% federally is still an illegal substance. Correct. Um, so what she has down here at the store are CBD products. So I am, let's, 
let's talk about first what you've incorporated into your weight loss wellness program. Okay, so like you mentioned, I had been kind of a, a random user of it. Uh, if I was going to be speaking or maybe before a show like this, I would take some just to kind of calm my nerves. Um, I've done so, a lot of speaking events of, on CBD and different topics around the community here. Um, or if I was just wanted to get a good night's sleep, I might take some before I went to bed. Um, and, and probably the main product that I was using was, for people who can see it, I'm showing it on the camera, um, I was using our Wellness Center Full Spectrum Hemp Extract. Um, we have it in a variety of strengths. Um, so I typically usually have, this bottle happens to be 500 milligrams, but I typically get, seem to end up with a 1,000 milligram bottle. Um, and I take anywhere from a third of a dropper to a half of a dropper, um, which is about 20 milligrams if I want to go to sleep. I take a little bit less if I just want to calm my nerves. I have a pretty low tolerance uh, for CBD. Um, we find that most people, 20 to 25 is probably good for relieving discomfort because we can't technically say pain. Um, <laughs> legally, we can't say it will reduce your pain, um, but it will reduce discomfort and help with that inflammation. Um, so what I've added in, in addition to that, because um, it's just one of my favorite products and it's really easy to use, is the Be True Wellness line. And they have three products. Actually, they have more than three products, but these are the three that I've kind of been focusing on. Um, and these three are, what they are is drink enhancers. So just like the Mio drops that you would buy at the grocery store or those kinds of things, they are CBD drops, drink enhancers. So you just put them in your water. So it's kind of a system, um, like a lot of things that we do. They have energy for the morning, so you put that in when you start off with your, so I have three, I have three of my big tumblers that I'm supposed to be drinking every day, so energy, supposed goes, to be drinking. <laughs> energy goes in the first one, um, and then a midday is focus, um, and those two products are pretty similar. Um, they do have different flavors. Um, there's a little bit difference in, um, Obviously, the focus has a little bit more to, to help you focus, and the energy one is a little bit stronger on the B vitamins. Um, and then I don't use this one as much because I don't have problems falling asleep, but then they have a dream, which is for your nighttime. And you can put them in water or you can put them in any, any beverage that you want, but they suggest, you know, in the water. Actually, the rep, and we may have him on at some point to give us more details about the rest of their products. Um, he says he's gotten so that he can just squirt them right in his mouth and take a drink. I tried that. I don't recommend it. Um, <laughs> but I don't like my stuff, my flavors to be really strong. So I just put a couple of squirts in. These are nano emulsified, so that's the newest technology in CBD products, so that they are water soluble, so they mix right in. Um, and I just put a couple squirts in my water, and that is enough to kind of get my CBD uh, sensors kicked up and or my endocannabinoid system kicked up. Um, and get me going for the day. There you go. And I'm just looking at um, like the energy formula has some good B12 in it. it, and it has a little bit of caffeine, so you're getting a little bit of boost from there. And then the Focus actually has some of the same ingredients that some of your Brain MD uh, supplements have in it. This actually has GABA in it, which is very good, and some B12 and some B6. So good formulas. Um, what what and, of? And I think not a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's not a little bit of stevia. Well, stevia is good as as far as the sweetener goes. Yes, stevia but, is, is yeah, good not, as a sweetener, there's and not a, not a ton of stuff in them. And and for those of you that um, weren't at the beginning of Suzanne's journey, one of the things is that she needed to increase her water intake anyway. So this is a good way to get some flavor and get some CBD in with and to be able to increase your water intake. Yeah, if you if you don't like the plain water which I don't mind plain water, but sometimes they just want some flavor. So this is a good, and then helps with the other things that I'm working on as well. Right, so, and as a, um, a personal trainer, I've been using the CBD myself personally to keep the inflammation down in my muscles. You can actually use CBD as a pre-workout to keep the inflammation down in your muscles. Um, those ladies, um, the other uses for the CBD, um, especially even like with weight loss, or if you're quitting smoking, or if you're reducing your drinking, um, that you would tend to get a little anxious. So seeing that CBD is a mood stabilizer, it'll take that edge off when you start getting a little anxious if you're going through the detoxification process. Um, and that's 
basically what I've been using the CBD for um, with my clients is reducing the inflammation. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. Um, and for me personally, I use it every day from a preventative standpoint to keep my muscles from getting um, overactive. Uh, and actually to help sleep too. So that's the way I use the CBD. Yeah, and that's kind of what I've done with the oil is as instead of, instead of randomly taking it whenever I just felt like I should, needed some, I have made that my nighttime regimen. So that's what I take at night before I go to bed would be this full spectrum oil, which has the little bit of THC in it, which is going to increase that ability to relax and go to sleep. Now, here's gonna be some caveats uh, for the CBD. If you are just starting, I would <laughs> encourage you to contact either myself or Suzanne. Do not follow the instructions on a bottle. Don't go on Amazon and just buy something and then follow the instructions. You need to start at the lowest effective dose possible and then titrate up for you. Pro one of the issues is a lot of these bottles say to use full dropper, which you do not want to do from the start because your body doesn't, no. you don't know how your body's <laughs> going to react to the CBD. So you're going to start off on a couple of drops and you're going to titrate up. The other thing that I want to make you aware of is if you are on blood thinners, you should not be using CBD. Uh, maybe a little bit of topical if you've got like some arthritis in a finger, um, maybe in a wrist, maybe an elbow, but that's about it. If you're on blood thinners, you should not be ingesting CBD. The other one is NSAIDs. They say that you shouldn't, if you're on NSAIDs, you shouldn't be using them. Which is? Um, they're like your heavy duty Motrins, your kind of pain relievers that you shouldn't mix CBD with those um, because it's hard on your kidneys. Uh, so CBD is processed by your liver, and your, er, it's the liver. It's hard to process through your liver. The NSAIDs are hard on your liver, and so is the CBD. Well, so. and, you know, probably the goal would be to get off of those other things. Um, but that's a good point. You don't want to be taking CBD at the same time that you are taking anything else. Um, if you're on antidepressants, if you're on another kind of anti-inflammatory, if you're on any kind of a pain reliever, you do not want to be taking your CBD at the same time because they're going to be competing for those same pathways. Yes, um, we recommend, um, and this came from, um, I think one of the medical providers that we talked to about it, was that you put an hour between CBD and any Definitely other medications, more, right? Um, right. either before or after, whichever way you want to do it. Um, and then the other part is um, at a conference that I was at, they were talking about the nanotechnology and, and the guy yeah, showed- Yeah, can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, the nanotechnology, what it does is it takes, the CBD molecule is like an oil molecule. It's so an oil. <laughs> it's, it's just like olive oil or mm -hmm. coconut oil or any of the other oils that you would use to cook it. So it's, your body can't absorb it without it being broken down by your digestive juices. You get some effects, they say to put it under your tongue, you do get some effects from that, but you really aren't gonna see the full effects until your stomach kind of starts to digest it. And in talking with the nano, the nanotechnology, what it does is it breaks it down into a water-soluble um, molecule so your body can absorb it faster. So yes, there are some benefits to going to a nanotechnology water-soluble CBD. Absolutely, um, But what this, what this guy who was promoting nanotechnology, he their company was actually doing a study and the study was showing they would give people the nanotechnology CBD and then a regular CBD oil, and they would track when the effects started kicking in. Well, they started them with an empty stomach, so the nanotechnology stuff was kicking in right away. The regular CBD oil that you're seeing most places that most people can get didn't kick in until about two hours later. Well, at the two hour point, they were allowing the people to eat. So the, the layman's interpretation of that for me was you should take your CBD oil with food because you need those gastric juices to break down that molecule so your body can absorb it. Because CBD oil is a fat soluble exactly. oil. So you need fat to <laughs> absorb it. It's like, um, and we're gonna have this discussion too, it's gonna be like your vitamin D oil or any of your other supplements that are oils, they always say to take them with food. And the reason being is you need food, healthy fats to be able to absorb it. Um, well, and, and, the, and, the, and the gastric juices to break those down to a smaller, absorbable size molecule. Right, and with the oils, um, again, I had said, you know, hey, don't follow the instructions because it'll say to, you know, have a whole um, dropper. If you put that much oil underneath your tongue, guess what? You're going to swallow most of it. What you want to do is, and what I even encourage um, my clients to do, 
is I would rather them using smaller amounts more frequently during the day because it's easier to let a smaller amount sit underneath your tongue than it is a huge amount of oil. You're gonna end up swallowing it, um, is, is the basic line uh, of that whole thing. And not that that's a bad thing, because then your body's gonna digest it and get it into your system through your digestive tract. But, but then you'll you lose, already, yeah, you'll yeah, lose And you'll have to eat. You'll yeah. have to, once, once it starts going into your stomach, then you are gonna have to eat something because then it is becomes fat soluble. But we're gonna start having this conversation about cannabinoids here in the future, and we've already started, that you're gonna be supplementing with it just like you would vitamin D because it's when your body's supply of cannabinoids decreases that the inflammation starts. It's when your mood becomes unstable. So we're gonna have the conversation of supplementing with cannabinoids or CBD, just like you do B12 or B6 or your vitamin D to get your levels optimal, get your inflammation down, pain down, stabilize your mood. Well, and if we talk about the fact that our bodies are lacking in cannabinoids, mm -hmm. we can take that back to our food sources because right. they in, in the 1800s and early 1900s, they used to feed cows and chickens and stuff hemp products, which then they had more cannabinoids in their meat. So when we ate the meat, the meat created more cannabinoids, brought more cannabinoids into our system. So that's why we're seeing people become deficient in that because they no longer feed hemp to these and to the so, livestock. So we're not naturally getting it from the foods that generations and generations mm -hmm. and generations ago that they were getting it from. So we're seeing all these new things that are happening because we don't have the cannabinoids in our body because we have that system, which is actually a fairly recent discovery. I, I think it was like in the 80s that they've actually just even discovered that we have this system in our bodies. Right, right. Um, and that's why you're hearing so much discussion about CBD and cannabinoids and um, as the laws progress, uh, and basically catch up to the science is what is happening. Um, you're gonna be hearing more about cannabinoids. Now at the U Total Body Wellness Center, one thing that I do specifically at my center is I customize oils with things that are called terpenes. Now, uh, Suzanne was talking about full spectrum oil. Full yeah, spectrum, that probably would be good to explain the differences. Right, right, full spectrum oil has the allowable level of THC plus your CBD plus what we call terpenes. Terpenes are like the essential oils um, that are found in cannabis plants, hemp plants, and other plants that enhance the CBD. And these different, like lavender, helps calm you down. So Citrus oils um, boost you up. So do the terpenes. They have different names. Um, but then you can add them to your we'll oil. We'll have to do a whole show on we'll terpenes. We'll have to do a whole show. But I'll just mention the terpenes now. So one thing that I do at the Wellness Center is I actually custom make oils with specific terpenes depending on what's going on with you. So um, we'll talk about that at another se session. Um, Custom oils. Customizing CBD oils. Um, but the, so the difference between full spectrum is they do have the allowable oil um, amount of THC, CBD, um, and the terpenes in them. Broad spectrum does not have the THC in it. Right. Right. Um, so that's the difference. And then if you just have an isolate, all it does have is the CBD, CBD with no terpenes. Well, and no other cannabinoids. And no other cannabinoids. So isolate, single cannabinoid, broad spectrum has the CBD plus the terpenes, no THC, full spectrum has all three. A way that I like to explain it to my customers to make it a little bit easier for them to understand, the isolate is like apple juice. The broad spectrum is if you eat a peeled apple, and then the full spectrum is if you leave the skin on and eat the skin. So each of those pieces has benefits on its own, and the more things you add in, the better benefits you're gonna get. There you go. So um, that's an easy way to kind of think about it. Yeah, the, the, the only thing I'm gonna add to that though, because and then we started, we started talking about that. Most of the products that I recommend do not have any THC in them. And that's for one reason is there's a small segment of the population who is very, very sensitive to THC. If you try a CBD product that has THC in it and you tend to get a little agitated or a little paranoid, don't give up on CBD. Just try one that doesn't have the THC in it. Get a broad spectrum product and don't think that um, your body reacted to all of CBD out there. Your body was probably just reacting to the THC. Yeah, and we carry the full spectrum. Yes. So we have isolates, we have the broad spectrums, and we have the full spectrum. So we are able to 
help people depending on what they have. Now what we hear a lot is people that can't have the THC because of drug testing. So that yeah, is, yeah. yeah, that is something we can kind of Go talk ahead. about a little Go bit. Talk about that. <laughs> because, um, and, and there's a lot of controversy in this as well. Um, some people will tell you that you can take the isolate and be completely safe from drug testing and you'll pass no matter what. Um, that may not be 100% true. It will be, you will be safer if you're taking just an isolate, if you get tested, drug tested regularly. Um, the broad spectrum, again, would be your second best choice if you get drug tested. Um, we don't recommend that anybody who nope. gets drug tested regularly or has a reason to be drug tested get any product with CBD, with THC in it nope. at all. Zip, um, zero, nada. <laughs> because it's a fat soluble oil, it will store in your fat. Yes. So you and I could take the same exact amount of CBD, but again, depending on how our bodies process it, correct. Even though I have more fat, I, you would think I would store it more, but you may actually store it more because- My metabolize, yeah. Yeah, you might metabolize, metabolize it differently. Right, exactly. Um, and then the drug tests vary. Some right. drug tests have a level that as long as you're above that, below that level, you're okay, because you do have cannabinoids in your body naturally. Um, and then others test just for THC, others test for full cannabinoid spectrum. So it's really hard to, um, qualify that. So if you are someone who gets drug tested regularly, definitely stick with an isolate if you're not going to talk to your employer or whoever's drug testing you before. Um, but I would still recommend that anybody who has drug, regular drug testing, such as medical professionals, fire department, uh, first responders, anybody like that, that could be drug tested regularly, check with your higher ups before you start taking CBG, CBD just to make sure that they're okay with the fact that you're doing it and that if that shows up at some level. And I still would stay away from the, the THC completely. The, the full spectrum. Um, and I'm gonna speak for both of us. If you have any question about a product, just contact us. Um, what I have people do a lot is take pictures of the labels and send it to me because it's, it's those labels can be confusing and I think we're gonna have a whole other program that's gonna talk about the rules and the regulations and the labeling. Um, at an, in another episode, but if you have any questions about a product that you're considering taking, either contact me or Suzanne. You can shoot a picture of it, text it to us. My number is 941-468-7091. Um, you can't text to this number, but 941-421-7155. You can call me and, and I can uh, give you a number that you can text to, or you can email it to us at info at healthsupercharge.com and we'll be happy to take a look at it. Right, if you have any questions, because I would rather you ask the questions first um, before you spend the money on it. Yeah, or if you wanna know if what you've been taking, if you don't think you're getting benefits from it, to let us know what you're taking and we'll look at it and see what we think about it. Um, you know, I can pretty much go to somebody's website and look at it and be like, no, you shouldn't be taking that. <laughs> and, yeah, well, and we've already done that a few times with each other. What do you think about this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you sent me one the other day. Yeah. I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. No, yes. No. Um, all right. So but let's say, let's say the, the kind of two important facts about CBD, because these are kind of your two, what we tell everybody, if you're not going to buy it from us, one of us, make sure it's third party tested. And, and we'll just kind of briefly touch on the law here. It now has to have, I don't know where it is. I think it's under, the, under my oh, it's sticker. It's the barcode to contract. Yeah, those ones, they have QR codes, but I don't know where they are. They're not on that one yet. Okay. Um, this one, yeah, the QR codes, um, they have to have those on those and those should take you to the third party testing. That isn't a Florida requirement as of January 2nd. So any product that you're looking at um, to some, Look to see if it has a QR code on it. When you scan that QR code, it will should link you directly to a third-party lab testing of this product that's basically verifying the amount of CBD that's in it and that it's free from contaminants and pesticides. Yep. Um, and then the other thing that we always tell people is make sure you're getting a product that is grown and manufactured in the United States. Um, there's a lot of bad stuff coming out of China and they're routing it through a bunch of different countries. So just make sure that it's a U.S. product. Uh, you know, normally we can't say that about a lot of products in our in our country, but this one you want it grown and manufactured here because to our standards. Yeah, to our right, standards, absolutely. and and you just don't want it coming from somewhere else that you don't know 
what it is. You want to be able right. to trace that manufacturing back. So those, I think, are the, the two most th important things in looking at a CBD product. And if you have any other questions beyond that, like Beth said, give us a call. Right, or you can stop by the Your Total Body Wellness Center, 800 East Venice Avenue, Sweet C, Venice, Florida, 34285. You can call me, text me, 941-468-7091. And here in Cape Coral, we're at uh, 229 Del Prado Boulevard North, Unit 9. Um, and our number here is 239-677-3559, or better to reach me personally at 941-421-7155. And if anyone has a product, gadget, gadget, supplement, nutrient that you have a question on and want us to research in our Tell Me More segment, they can contact us. How, Suzanne? Info at healthsupercharge.com, or you can tag us in any of the videos, YouTube videos or the podcasts, and we'll be happy to respond. And thank you for being such a gracious host down here. Thanks for coming. It's a long <laughs> drive. <laughs> and we will be taking our, the show on the road. Um, so stay tuned on our future podcasts and so you can see what we're up to next. Supercharged 2020. There you go.